Setting up Redis Enterprise on AWS is very simple and easy to do. I'll show you how to set it up, show you some things you should know, and then finally, show you how to set up VPC pairing, which is a connection between two different VPCs. You should definitely know how to set up VPC pairing because it allows you to connect your application to an external source like Redis Enterprise on a private connection. Not only is it more secure, it also provides lower latency because there is less traffic on that private connection compared to a public connection. And then finally, it's also more cost effective because cloud providers will charge lower fees on data transferring on private networks compared to those public networks. So it's more secure, it's more performant, and it's more cost effective. So let's dive in. On the console homepage of AWS, I'm going to search Redis Enterprise. I'm then going to click Marketplace, and then I'm going to click Redis Enterprise Cloud Flexible Pay-As-You-Go, which is our pay-as-you-go deployment. It's going to open a new tab for us that will give us an overview page of the product pricing, usage, and support information. Let's click Continue to Subscribe. Let's go ahead and click on Subscribe once again. And then finally, it's going to let us set up our account. So go ahead and click that. It's going to redirect you to the login or authentication page for our Redis Enterprise Cloud UI to authenticate. I'll go ahead and do that now, and I'll meet you on the other side. After we've authenticated, you will get this pop-up for AWS Marketplace to make sure we are mapping to the correct account. So go ahead and map to that. And then we'll go ahead and start our free trial for AWS. And now we are here. We've got our first look at the Redis Enterprise Cloud UI. And we'll go ahead and go into what we can do on the database. The free trial subscription is a really great way to start for anyone who is starting to learn the real-time capabilities of Redis. This free trial subscription provides Redis Stack which includes Redis Search, Redis JSON, Redis Graph, Redis Time Series, and Redis Bloom. Let's go ahead and create a new subscription. In the flexible plan, you'll notice that AWS is default for our cloud vendor because we went through the AWS marketplace. You can change your region if you'd like. I'll keep us in the US East. We'll go ahead and name the subscription in the advanced options, we have multi-AZ enabled. And then finally, we have our VPC configuration. The deployment CIDR, or CIDR, uh, we get a lot of questions about. So the deployment CIDR is essentially the range where our Redis Enterprise VPC will be deployed. It's important that whatever range you put here, it shouldn't overlap with your application VPC, CIDR block, or any peered network to your application VPC as they won't be able to connect to each other. Next, we'll go ahead and click Continue. And then here, we can set up our database. So I'll go ahead and click the blue plus button on the right. We'll go ahead and name the database. We can configure our throughput by either ops per second or by shards, and also set the memory limit, enable high availability or replication. And then in the, in the advanced options, we can enable the OSS cluster API, we can set data persistence, and then even select our modules. We'll go ahead, well, before I go ahead and save this, you can also duplicate this database for however many you need. I'll keep it at one for now. Go ahead and click Save Database. And then we can click Continue to our review page with the details. And then we'll go ahead and click Create Subscription and then into the connectivity tab. Click the add peering button. Now we need to get four different items from the VPC we are trying to establish that peering. So we'll need the AWS account, the region that it lives in, the VPC ID, and then finally the VPC CIDR. Let's go and find where these items live inside of our AWS account. The account ID can be found simply by Clicking your username on the top right, and then it's going to be right there at the very top. Go ahead and copy that. And then the VPC ID is going to be inside of your VPC, right here on the left under VPC ID. 
And then finally, the VPC CIDR is under your IP before CIDR. So go ahead and copy that as well. And then finally, my VPC is it in the US East as well. So that is everything we'll need. Let's go ahead and go input those values. After you've entered in all of your values, go ahead and click Initiate Pairing. This could take about one minute or so to set up, uh, but once it's done, you'll see a status that says Pending Acceptance. Once you see that, the final steps that we need to do are go and accept that peering and then change our routing table in our AWS account we are attempting to set up this connection with. Back on our AWS account, go ahead and click Peering Connections. And here you'll see a list of peering connections that have either are active, deleted, or pending acceptance. I know that this uh, peering connection ID ending in BF4A is mine, so I'll go ahead and click that. And then Actions, and then Accept Request, and then confirm that you want to accept the request. And after you've confirmed it, the final step before we are finished is to change our routing table on the VPC to accept the requester ciders and link them to the peering connection. So copy this requester cider. Let's go to the top of the list now. After you've copied your requester cider, let's go ahead and go back to our VPC. Once you're back in your VPC, go ahead and click main route table. And then we're going to go to Actions and Edit Routes, and then Add Route. The destination, we'll go ahead and paste in our requester cider. And Target, we are going to go to Peering Connection, and our target will automatically show up here, which is our peering ID. And then go ahead and click Save Changes. Perfect, that is it. It is now active and we are good to go. After a moment or so, our status will change on our Redis Enterprise Cloud UI. All right, there you have it. We have our active VPC on our newly created Redis Enterprise database hosted on AWS. I hope you've enjoyed this lightning demo and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.